In this video, I will show you how to find the differential of a variety of functions. But I warn you in advance, this is going to be so simple that you're going to ask yourself, why am I even watching this video? Look, the formula for the differential of y is f prime of x times dx. So basically, you just take the derivative and stick a dx on the end of it. That's literally all there is to it. So if I want to find the differential of this function, I'm going to just say dy is equal to the derivative of this. So I will have to use the chain rule because I've got the outer function of sine x and then the inner function of 3x. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So I start off by writing cosine 3x. But then I need to multiply by the derivative of the inner function, and that's 3 which a lot of times I will stick on the end here, but uh, for a trig function, I find it more convenient to put that multiplier in the front. So that is the derivative, but since this is the differential, I'm going to stick a dx on the end of it. That's it. Example two, the differential dy is going to equal the derivative of this with a dx stuck on the end of it. So here comes the chain rule again. So we will put the 1 half in the front. Reducing this by 1 will give us negative 1 half power. And we still have the x squared plus 1 on the inside. But then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside part. And that's going to be 2x. So it's just a mat matter of simplifying this. We might as well go ahead and stick the, uh, the dx on the end of this. And boom, now it's a differential. So we're going to have dy equals, uh, here's my 1 half. Because of the negative exponent, this part is going to drop down to the denominator. And when I do, I might as well put it in a square root. So this will be the square root of x squared plus 1. Now we still have this 2x which will end up in the numerator, okay, I mean it's multiplying, so I don't need this 1 anymore. So this is the differential as long as I have the dx on the end of it. These 2's will cancel out so we can go ahead and do that, and that will be the final answer. dy is equal to x over the square root of x squared plus 1, don't forget your little dx on the end. Example three, if I want to find the differential dy for this function, I'm just going to take the derivative and then stick a dx on the end. This is going to be a product rule though. So we are going to first take the derivative of x and that's going to be one. And then we multiply that by the other factor, cosine x. And then we put a plus. And now we do it again, but this time we leave the first factor alone. And we multiply by the derivative of the second factor. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we just applied the product rule. Um, but this is dif differential, so we just need to stick a dx on the end of it. I should probably put... Um, parentheses around this whole thing. So the dx is on all of this. Obviously, I'm going to simplify this down a little bit. For example, we're not going to put the, uh, the 1 in there. So I'm going to have cosine x. And then uh, the negative sign, I'm going to take that negative sign and put it out in the front. So it'll be a minus instead of a plus. So we will have minus x sine x. And let's go ahead and put parentheses around it, or brackets I guess, and put a dx on it. That's it. Let's do one more. Let's find the differential of f of x equals x plus 1 over 2x minus 1. So again, we will just find the derivative of this and then stick a dx on the end of it. But this is going to involve the quotient rule, so let's practice that. 
for the quotient rule, we uh, take the derivative of the numerator, which in this case is just going to be one, and then you uh, multiply that by the denominator, which is two x minus one. And then you subtract and you go through again, but this time you leave the numerator alone and you multiply by the derivative of the denominator, which in this case will be two. So then you divide that entire expression by the denominator squared. So you do two X minus one squared. And then this is the differential. So the big thing is put a DX on the end of it. So now we're gonna have DY equals, and we'll just simplify a little bit. So the one doesn't matter, we have two X minus one. Uh, if I just take this multiplier of two and put it in the front, it's easier to see that I'm doing the distributive property. Make sure you distribute a negative two, not a positive two. So we will get negative two X minus two, all right? The negative goes with it, all over two X minus one squared. So that'll give us dy equals, hmm, 2x minus 2x, those cancel each other out. So we're gonna end up with, uh, whoops, I almost forgot the dx. So we're gonna end up with negative three in the numerator. So we have negative three over 2x minus one squared dx. And that's it, guys. I think you get it.